Hey guys, it's me Noelle and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Wacom One related video. I'm gonna be doing a brush study on one of my all-time favorite programs, Adobe Illustrator. If you've never done a brush study before, I highly recommend it. It's really just to help you as an artist know your brushes, know the tools that you're working with. I'm basically going to show you guys the setups of how to use a brush, what it's like using the Wacom One tablet as a drawing tool. There are so many programs you could use your Wacom One with. In fact, Wacom offers a bunch of free programs that you can use. So Illustrator is a paid program, but you don't have to use Illustrator if you don't want to. Something I really like about Illustrator is that it's a vector based program. Raster programs such as Photoshop are pixel based. The downside about that is when you enlarge images to a certain size, it lowers the quality of the image. So if you want to know a little bit more about the technical stuff, check out Adobe's blog post on vectors in the description below. All right, guys, let's dive in. Just a little side note, if you don't know about the Wacom One yet, this blew my mind when I realized that this is a wireless tablet. This tablet does, however, come with a USB-C cord, so you can definitely connect it to your laptop if you want to, but I really like this like free range of motion going on here. And you also use this cord to charge the tablet. So because this is a wireless tablet, it does connect through Bluetooth. It's super easy to do that. You basically click this button on the side here and a little LED light should come on. There it is. Then you just go into your settings. So this is the Wacom Center where you configure all your settings, especially related to this little guy right here, the pen. One thing I wanted to show you guys is how to change your pen settings. You go to pen, you click the pen option. The default settings are right click for the first button and pan scroll for the second button. But I personally like having one of my buttons be an undo button. I mess up a lot. So I'm going to go to this button right here. You just click on it, go to undo, boom you just change your button setting. And then for the second button, I think I'm gonna make this one the right click. On the right hand side here, you could see how much battery you have, if it's connected via Bluetooth, and you can even change the orientation of your tablet and you can change the mapping. There's just so much you can do to customize this tablet to really make it feel like your own. So now that my settings are all configured, let's jump into Illustrator. I'm gonna open a new file. This is the YouTube thumbnail size. We're gonna keep it at that, 1280 by 720 pixels if you're wondering. Website I like to use for free Illustrator brushes, freepick.com. Freepick offers a bunch of different brushes for Illustrator and wow, guys, just look at these options. It's kind of endless. I mean, the ones with the crown, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for those, but a lot of them are free. It's super easy. You just download the zip file and then it goes directly to your desktop. I downloaded a few already, so I'm going to show you guys the ones I got. So I'm just going to label each section just to keep track of the brushes. This first brush is a nice basic stippler. This next one is a little more spaced out and has smaller grain to it. I really like the range that this pack has. So moving on to inking. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I am digging the organic looking strokes. Like this legitimately looks like ink on paper. Digital brush studies are also fun because it helps you get a better idea of the orientation of your pen. Just doing this right now is helping me really understand my Wacom pen a little bit better and how moving it in a certain way can change the look of the brush. So for example, for this brush, if I make horizontal strokes, it looks like that. If I make vertical strokes, it looks like that. Okay, moving on to the lino cut brushes. I think these brushes really do a good job of emulating that lino cut look.
there we go that was the brush study as you can see i tried out a bunch of different brushes that i downloaded for free on the interwebs if you want to download these specific brushes i will link them in the description below if you're curious to know more about how brushes work on illustrator check out adobe's blog they teach you how to use brushes in illustrator how to configure the settings all about brushes it's brushes 101 thank you guys so so much for watching if you want to see more wacom one content make sure to tune in every saturday i'll be showing you tips and tricks on how to use your Wacom One, drawing tutorials, stuff like this brush study. We can learn how to use and master the Wacom One together. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.